1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent. According to PCGS, the grading service, this coin displays questionable color therefore they did not assign a numerical grade. When PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, mentions questionable color and suggests the possibility of artificial toning, it means that the coin's original color or surface appearance may be in doubt. Toning refers to the natural or artificial discoloration that can occur on the surface of a coin over time. Natural toning can develop due to exposure to environmental elements, such as air and moisture, over an extended period. Artificial toning can negatively impact a coin's value, as it is generally preferred for coins to retain their original surfaces. This old penny with uncircled details ended up selling for $1,920 on December 5, 2023. Number 6. 1999 P. Delaware State Quarter. A quarter dollar struck on an experimental planchet. Graded in Mint State 63 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a lovely golden olive surfaces are fully struck with intense satin luster. Although the Sacagawea dollar was first issued in early 2000, the manganese alloy in its planchets was developed during 1999 and tested using state quarter dies, which were similar in diameter. For each of the five 1999 dated state quarter types, a small number of examples were struck at the Philadelphia Mint in a green gold manganese alloy, as here. It was sold for $2,640. Number 5. Vividly Tone 1951 S. Franklin Half Dollar with Full Bell Lines. Graded in Mint State 67 FBL by PCGS. The obverse is a wash in color, with nearly 100% of the surfaces blanketed in color, with cranberry crimson and eggplant purple colors dominating. Splashes of neon green, tangerine orange, light purple, and magenta tones pop in a light when rotated in the light. The reverse is more modeled and the toning covers only a portion of the surface, mostly at the lower periphery. It ended up selling for $4,080. Number 4. 1961 D. Roosevelt Dime. Graded in Mint State 67 plus full bands by PCGS. According to NGC, despite massive hoarding of all USA coins dated from the mid-1950s through 1964, top-notch gems of this issue are a bit elusive. Denver Mint Dimes of the period tend to be better struck than their Philadelphia cousins, resulting in a greater proportion of FT pieces, but they are also more likely to be marred by numerous small bag marks. This gem displays amazing quality at this lofty level. A dash of lemon gold on portions of the rim, otherwise brilliant white and lustrous. Incredible field quality with virtually no signs of bag handling beyond a couple of shallow traces on the uppermost devices. It was sold for $5,287.50. Number 3. 1944P Jefferson Nickel struck on a standard nickel planchet graded as VF35 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, in late 1942 the use of copper nickel planchets for the circulating 5-cent pieces was discontinued and replaced by a copper-silver manganese amalgam that would remain for the duration of the war. In 1946 the copper nickel standard was once again in play for the denomination. No doubt a leftover copper nickel planchet, or more perhaps, of the 1938 to 1942 era was on hand at the mint and somehow found its way into the hopper of silver wartime nickels. From there it entered circulation where it must have stayed for years before an eagle-eyed collector spotted it for the anomaly that it was and kept it in a collection where it avoided more wear and tear. It was sold for $5,875. Number 2. 1945 Mercury Dime. Graded in Mint State 66 FB by NGC. FB standing for full bands. A boldly lustrous and entirely brilliant gem specimen of the final date in the design type. The strike is full, an important consideration for this normally flatly struck issue. The 1945 is notorious for its lack of reverse central details, but this specimen is anything but flat. The central reverse bands on the fasces are separated, something only rarely found for the date. It fetched a sum of $12,925. Number 1. And here is 1996 Lincoln sent in MS-69 red condition. Excellent modern rarity in terms of grade. According to Jamie Hernandez from PCGS, most Lincoln cents minted in the 1990s are very common since they were struck in large quantities. The 1996 P. Lincoln cent is no exception as the mint struck over 6.6 .6 billion examples. Therefore, finding an example in circulation should be far easy. Only examples in MS-68 or higher are scarce. 
This superb gem ended up selling for $20,250 with buyer's fee. And there you have it, folks. The journey through the world of rare US coins. If you enjoyed this deep dive into numismatics, give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. God's will, see you in the next episode.